first I was doing it because uh, I saw an opportunity, but now I'm falling in love with the sport and I'm not looking to lose it. To win that belt by a knockout would be awesome. Five and zero by KO, and I'd have the championship underneath me and the first belt on the show. I want that belt so bad, so John should expect me to come in with some heavy slaps because I'm coming for that knockout. My goal tonight is to go up there, one shot, one kill, no luck, all skill, take him out, take my belt home, and not get hit. It'd be real big to win the belt, knocking out the mechanic. You know, he's he's got a lot of clout behind his name, but uh, that all changes tonight. It's been said over and over again, I hit like a ton of bricks. Everyone's going to see it tonight, and AJ's going to feel it. Uh, it'll mean the world to me having that belt wrapped around my waist, being the first power slide heavyweight champion, and knowing I beat Darius to get that achievement will be everything. Tonight, it's going to be a brawl. It's going to be toughness. You're going to see all my willpower, all my strength, all my explosiveness, and you're going to understand what Darius Destroyer is about. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on. From the Power Slap Arena in Las Vegas, welcome to Power Slap. Slap fighting is about to go to a whole nother level. in Las Vegas so far tonight. Safe to say we can expect more of the same at the apex where history is being made and champions will be crowned. Power Slap 1, Darius the Destroyer versus Wolverine presented by Monster Energy. Unleash the Beast. Four title fights are on deck and the stakes have never been higher. Luckily, we all have a front row seat Welcome inside the UFC Apex alongside the UFC Hall of Famer Michael Bisping. I'm Dan Helling. I don't know what you were planning on doing oh. tonight, but it wasn't as exciting as this. Man, the prelims had us <laughs> going. Look, listen, if you like to see people get knocked out, this is what you need to be watching. Eight prelims so far, five knockouts. The last one we just saw, the hardest hit that I've seen for a very, very long time. And we haven't even got started on the main card. No, the main card's going to be unbelievable. There are four championship fights. The heavyweight title fight between Darius the Destroyer and Wolverine is the main event. Now, they have met three times before, but it's been close each and every time. Every time, very close. But still, coming into this one, I said it before, Wolverine has bolted up a little bit. Now, both men can take a shot. They can both land a shot. One of their matchups went 27 rounds. In the end, the doctor had to step in and said, right, enough is enough. But still, coming into this one, trying to take home that heavyweight title, a lot on the line. And Wolverine has gained 20 pounds. This is a different looking dude this time around. Yeah, that's right. He's been bulking up. He's been eating thousands and thousands of calories, hitting the gym, doing a lot of squats, trying to strengthen his core, working on his technique. Because listen, he's a competitor. He's down 0-3 against Darius. Doesn't want to lose four in a row. Knows there's a lot at stake. Wants to change his future, make some money, and become the power slap first ever heavyweight champion. This is steel versus steel in this one. I can't cannot wait. Let's take a look at the heavyweight striker rankings brought to you by Happy Dad Heart and Seltzer. No more skinny cans. Darius the Destroyer Wolverine are atop. Damian DeBell is coming, folks. Crespo and Phillips rounding out your top five. The Cobain event going to be equally as good. Vernon Cathy and AJ Hintz. Vernon Cathy, it's two up, two down. He is struck first. 
Got a couple of knockouts, but AJ Hintz is a bulldog, the strongest snack in the Power Slap Mansion. Yeah, Vernon Cathy, let me tell you, this man has just got it. Whatever it is, he's got it. He's got power. He's got poise. He's a very calm guy. He's a family guy. I asked him if we could speak to his kids the other day. He's like, no, not going to happen. I'm here for business only. We've never seen him get slapped because he hasn't had to, because that's the kind of power that he has. But his opponent, AJ Hintz, I mean, come on, this man is a knockout machine. Heavy hands, a very, very strong neck. Will he be the first person not to get knocked out? We'll find out. And here they were at the way as I cannot tell you how much I am looking forward to this one. Vernon Cathy and AJ Hintz. In the middleweight title matchup, John Davis taking on Azael El Perro Rodriguez. Yeah, listen, John the Machine Davis, this guy's a well by day, right? Works his ass off. He's a very hard-working guy, but coming into this one, he's proven time and time again that he has got knockout power. There he is, landing, going to work, teeing off on people's faces. And he's got an opponent tonight that he's not too keen on because Azael Rodriguez kind of rubs some people up the wrong way, but he's here to show everyone what he's got, that he's a serious man, and he's got to be taken for real. All right, now we move on to our welterweight title bout presented by Rumble between Chris Thomas and Jesus Gaspar Diaz. Only one will be the inaugural Power Slap welterweight champion of the world. Let's bring in the third member of our team, Charlie Arnold, with more on the welterweight title fight. Dan, the crazy part about this welterweight match is the fact that Chris Thomas actually told Jesus Gaspar Diaz at the very beginning of the season that it was going to be them two competing for the welterweight title. In fact, Chris was actually helping Gaspar Diaz for a while on his offense and his defense, but of course had to respectfully step back from giving those pointers once this match was made official. KO Chris, we all know, is a very dangerous man, known for hitting like a truck. His nickname speaks volumes for fights, for knockouts. Meanwhile, his opponent, Gaspar Diaz, is the clear Watch underdog the here, but that is a position he has grown accustomed to. He was picked last. He went into the house as an alternate, and it was really his cleaned up technique that eventually paid off in the end and earned him a spot in this title fight. Now, the fact is, he's going to be facing one of his biggest allies in the house, but also one of the toughest strikers in all of Power Slap, as both men now vie to become the promotion's first ever welterweight champion. Back to you, Dan. All right, thank you very much, Charlie. Some props to watch for Thomas and Gaspar Diaz. Minus 900. Thomas, the biggest favorite on the card. Knockout in the first round. Minus 350 says yes. And remember that KO Chris is striking first. KO Chris has promised when he steps to the table, it will be won and done. The biggest favorite here tonight. We arrive at our title fights, and what better way to kick things off than with the Power Slap Welterweight Championship of the World. Christopher Thomas lived up to his nickname KO Chris during his time in the Power Slap house, and that led him back to Vegas for a welterweight title shot against Jesus Gaspar Diaz. My name is Jesus Gaspar. I'm fighting out of Montclair, California, uh, out of the Inland Empire. It's an uh, hour east from Los Angeles. It's pretty bad over here. Half of the city is just that like war zone. In the house, it's just me and my mom. She's just the strongest woman I know. I don't know what I would do without her. My mom inspires me just of how hardworking she is. I felt like I had to make it somehow, so and I saw this opportunity for Power Slap, and I said, let's do it, man. Slapping competitions is blowing up, man. I want to be right in there, man. I want to blow up with it. I think if I win this Power Slap, uh, it's going to be a huge opportunity and very important. I think I might be able to move my mom out of this apartment. Being the last pick on the show, I showed that I wasn't going to back down. I'm not a quitter. I was going to ride that thing through. I'm here. Look at me now. I'm glad I did it. Jesus Gaspar, one of the fastest slap velocities of anyone in that weight class. I think this kid has a lot of potential. After leaving the house, I knew I had some things to work on. Uh, my flinching was the main one, so I learned from Wolverine to practice. Now I'm preparing to prove myself in this match. I already did against Joe Scott, but I'm ready to go be the first person to ever stand those shots from Chris Thomas. 
I think what makes me special is my chin and my will to win. This chin is made out of granite and it won't go down. But he sees that I'm gonna be the first one just, like I didn't move, it's gonna really mess him up. I wanna tell him that, hey, you're not unstoppable. So whatever Chris has to bring me, I'm ready to eat it. And I'm going to place the first loss on his record. I grew up pretty rough, you know, like I was mad at the world. If anybody was looked at me the wrong way, or even if I heard a whisper of somebody saying that you had some problem or inkling towards me, without a doubt in my mind, I would handle it right then and there. I've always known I could take a hit and give a hit. After seeing the power slap ad, I was like, I could do that easy, you know what I mean? And even watching it, I was like, man, those guys are not putting off much power. Like, I mean, it's just a slap, but I know when I'm going in there with a the slap, it's gonna hurt you. It's not just a slap, there's a lot of power that comes behind that. So I put my mind to it, and I was like, let's do it. This power slap trip to me was an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm a couple years out of recovery, you know, and a lot of people go backwards in life. And I'm glad that this hit me in my life because this kind of set my path. I have five sons and a wife, and I believe that their future is in my hands, and they need me. I'm gonna bring this to the top and show people that even though you come from nothing, you can be something. My nickname is KO Chris for a reason. Every slap fight I've had, I've knocked a dude out. That's what I'm about! I feel like this was thrown in my life. Honestly, God might have just made this for me, you know? And it's my time, and I'm gonna run with it. Because I'll eat every slap. Even if you set me down, I'll get back up, you know? I've been knocked down plenty of times in my life, but I have been put to sleep. And uh, that belt, it was worth more than any money in the world to me. That's my trophy. That's something I can show my kids that I worked for. And, you know, I didn't have opportunities that everybody else had in their life. You know, I just, and now that I got the opportunity, I'm not gonna let somebody take it away from me. Holy. Let's go, baby! I'm gonna you all right. This guy is a power slap star in the making, and there is no doubt in my mind. Hey, Seuss, I don't feel like power slaps for you, but you're a good kid and all that stuff like that, but I'm gonna eat you alive, dude. Incredible. My KO! KO, Chris! And I promise you, bud, you might be able to get a couple slaps off on me, but I'm putting you out. If I don't put you out, I'm putting you down over and over again, because that's my belt, it's my time. I already know it. He's done. And here we go, our first walk and our first championship fight of the night. These fighter walkouts brought to you by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get popped with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Jesus Gaspar Diaz coming in as a big dog, plus 550, Michael. Massive underdog with a hard task in front of him, but when you speak to this guy, he's not phased one little bit. He comes from the mean streets of Pomona. He said, listen, since I finished filming the show, there's been 10 murders in my neighborhood. I gotta keep my head down because now I'm getting recognized. Now I'm a target. Speaking of target, that's exactly where he works. Stocking the shelves, busting his toys, whatever it takes, he's doing it. In the gym, he's working on his squats, he's working on rotation, working on generating a lot of power because he knows KO Chris hits with a lot of power, but these two, they're friends. There's no bad one between them. They were friends on the show, they're still friends now. Say the best man win. Jesus is a very unassuming guy, but don't be fooled by the record. It's very deceptive. He had some flinching issues early on. He fixed him, had a split decision with Slap Jesus, and then he beat Jewel Scott. He also ranks in the top five in peak velocity, power, and human force. Jesus Gaspar Diaz might be the biggest underdog on the card, but he is here to make a statement tonight.
Christopher Thomas. They call him KO Chris for a reason. The biggest favorite on the card, minus 900. All he do, all he does is win, and all he does is knock dudes out. Yeah, it's unbelievable. This man really does have freaky power. But when you look at him, you see the wind up that he has. You see how far he pivots back. He said, that's because I have an injury in my shoulder, which actually makes me super flexible. And look at this, super pumped up. All these men know this is a massive opportunity. This can change their lives. You saw that he's got five young boys. He wants to take care of them, give them the best life possible. And this is his God-given gift knocking people out. Every time he has faced somebody, he has put them to sleep. Will we see another one in just a minute? 4-0 with four knockouts, all in the first or second round. You mentioned the five boys back home in Bismarck, North Dakota, watching with his wife, Megan. He's from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, moved to Bismarck to be with his wife and kids a while ago. And do you think he's pumped up or what, Bismarck? Look at this man. Like a like a wild animal, but on a technical side, put a little bit of weight on. Had to cut 16 pounds this week. I actually talked him through it. I gave him some advice about salt baths, things like that. So the wake up for him was really hard. That will affect your ability to take a shot. So keep an eye on that. The Tale of the Tape brought to you by 10X. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to CardoneVentures.com. Nine years older is Christopher Thomas, one inch taller, but it is a two inch reach deficit for the biggest favorite on the card tonight. Let's send it to our power slap announcer. This is five rounds for the power slap welterweight championship of the world. Introducing to you first, Striking out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Out of Montclair, California, Jesus Gaspar Diaz. And now, striking out of the red corner, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Out of Bismarck, North Dakota, Christopher K.O. Chris Thomas. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Winner of the coin toss and striking first is Chris Thomas. You know, the crazy thing here is, Michael, these guys were really good friends in the slap house. And very early on, Chris Thomas told Jesus, we're going to be fighting for the title. Yep. They knew right from the start that these two would make it here to this point. Helped each other out, coached each other a little bit. Right on three. Right KO right three. On three. KO Chris it. going first right, right on, on three. three. He's won the coin toss each and every time. Now get ready for One. some serious power. Two. Oh! oh! He's terminated. Three. Four. Like an atomic bomb. Five. I don't know if he's going to get up. No, that's going to be Seven. it. Seven. He can't. He's, he's trying. Done. That's no. it. No. It's done. No. no. Uh, I mean, Jesus Gaspar, he has such a likable kid. He really is. But the power that Chris Thomas possesses, I don't know if anyone can take it. He said he manifested winning the coin toss, and he manifests first round knockouts. It happened here. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast. Manifest it? Nah, he mana slaps it. Let's take a look at this. Come on, one and done. Look at this, here's Chris Thomas right in front of us right now, losing his mind, just became the first ever champ. And on the flip side, Gaspar Diaz taking a nap. What a shot. So, ha <laughs> we're seeing the victory dance. One big shot. I, I, gotta, I gotta hear this one more time. I need to hear KO Chris. One. Oh! Oh! I mean, that's disgusting. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> look at those faces. Oh, look at these faces. Never mind them. My God. Oh, Jimmy on the end there. Looks like he's seen the ghost. Well, it was kind of cool. Without Flatwoods, I would be fucking down and out. KO Chris. Watch yourself that day and putting the belt on. Going to be taking a nice, nice paycheck back to Bismarck. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> no, no, no. He's fired up, rightly so. Listen, when you get the knockout, it feels amazing. When you do it like that, first shot, one shot, you become the champ, and you're going home as a champion with a fat amount of cash in your back pocket. Yeah. And now for the official decision presented by Rumble, here is Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 seconds in a round number one, referee Chris Tyone calls a stop to the match for the winner by knockout and new power slap welterweight champion of the world, Christopher K.O. Chris. That man is fired up. What do you think, Don? KO Chris, our first Power Slap champion, and I don't know if there'd be anybody more appropriate to wear the first slap belt. Now 5-0 and oh with five knockouts, and he is the Power Slap welterweight champion of he is. the world. Time for our celeb shots, brought to you by Happy Dad, Hard Seltzer, no more skinny kids. All right, there's Max Crosby. There's Will Compton and Taylor Lewan, and apparently there must have been some kind of bet because Taylor Lewan, the three-time All-Pro left tackle, formerly of the Titans, handed Chris Thomas 500 bucks after oh, that win. Oh, nice! Well, maybe Charlie can uh, maybe Charlie can ask what the situation was with that extra 500 bucks from Taylor Lewan. Hey, Charlie. Guys, uh, no one in this building is surprised. I'm here with the winner, Chris Thomas. Five fights, five knockouts. You are now the first ever Power Slap welterweight champion. How are you feeling right now? I feel like a psycho for a second, but fuck, I feel good. Uh, all bullshit aside, I love that kid that I just put down, so it kind of broke my heart in a way. Uh, that kid deserves every opportunity, just like anybody else in the slot. But that guy got heart, he didn't even fucking move. He took it like a man, and I appreciate him for that. I love you, Jesus. Yeah, maybe a bit of a bittersweet victory, but this is so well-deserved. You are so incredibly powerful. I really, truly don't think there's one person in here who expected this fight to go any other way. But looking at the bigger picture, Dana White said you were a power slap star in the making. Now with gold around your waist, you truly are a star. How incredible is this? It's, it's an unreal feeling. You know, this is my first medal in my life, so it feels very good. You know, actually very good, so... I just want to give a shout out to uh, Slapwoods. Uh, they've been behind me the whole time. I'm sorry I couldn't wear out any logos or any gear, but this is the best I could do. Slapwoods, look them up, baby. Good people, good shit. I love you, Megan. I love you, boys. I love everything about this Power Slap League. I'm here to stay. I'm here to take this fucking shit over and keep my fucking spot because I'm the lion. There might be other lions in there, but you'll fucking fight me to be the sideline, baby. So it looks like you probably have your pick of what's next for you. I mean, at this point, it's you're at the very top. Is there anything that you're looking for next out of your power slap career? Um, no, I just keep lining them up. Let's go. I want like I want two or three of these a year, so it adds up. I don't want to work anymore, so I'll take three slaps a year and I'll pay my fucking way. So let's do it. Well, enjoy the moment. Very well deserved. Congratulations. The new welterweight champion, the first ever in Power Slap history, Christopher Thomas. Guys, back to you. Hold you. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, Charlie, and well done, KO Chris. I don't want to work either, but I'm not <laughs> stepping up there and doing that. <laughs> I'm right there with you, brother. Power Slap 1, Darius the Destroyer versus Wolverine, presented by Monster Energy. Unleash the Beast. Not a bad way to get the main card started. The welterweight strap is the first championship belt in Power Slap history. Another belt gonna be handed out shortly and it could belong to this man. Ohio native John Davis used to building during his day job as a welder, but when he's slap fighting, he's usually dismantling dudes. The number one ranked middleweight prime to claim his crown. 
But so is this man. A lightning rod at the slap mansion. All Aziel Rodriguez does at the power slap table is win. El Perro, a perfect 3-0, and has his sights set on being power slapped first double champ. One thing we've learned about Aziel when he's doubted is when he's most dangerous. According to the odds, this is one of the most evenly matched fights of the night. Nearly a pick -em could go either way. Remember, when they step up to the table, Azael won the coin toss, and he will slap first. Power slap teammates collide for the middleweight title here at the Apex tonight as John Davis looks to keep his memorable run going against the talented and controversial Azael Rodriguez. I currently live in Salem, Ohio. I'm a welder at Morgan Engineering in Alliance, Ohio. It's a blue collar job, you know, it's not, it's not a lot of easy work. You Sometimes you gotta heat stuff up from anywhere to two to 500 degrees and work over top of it. You get up every day, you put those boots on and you go provide for your family. The symbolism of boots to me, uh, especially growing up, you know, my dad always had tore up boots from just long, long days, long hours, hard work and you know, eventually found myself in the, on the same path. Well, these boots I have here mean a lot to me because you know, they're the boots that I wore working two jobs, busting my ass to be able to buy my family the house that we live in now. Being able to bring the belt home would mean the world to me, uh, the world to my kids, <clears throat> the world to my wife. Because it's an example of hard work in many different shapes and forms can pay off you know, in, in a multitude of ways. And everyone will see that all that hard work paid off when I've got my hand raised and I bring that belt back home to Salem, Ohio. I'm going in there with all intent to take him out. You know, as soon as I can get my hands on that belt and walk away with it, the, the better. I just want to show the world who Azael is. I like to party. I like to go out with friends and drink. But when it comes down to it, I'm a dog. I've always been a dog. And uh, I just, I, I always end up showing it whenever I end up fighting. My time in the house, it started off a little bit shaky. I was just excited about being able to make it into the house. So I drank a little bit more than what I should have. It was just, I think it was just a combination of just mis misinterpretations throughout the house. So after seeing each of the episodes and, and my behavior, at first I was a little bit bummed out because that's not the character that I wanted to portray. But then now seeing it with my family, it's been a lot better to accept it. Since leaving the house, I've been focused on my strength training. I've been boxing more with my coach just incorporating as much explosive workouts on my legs so that way when I deliver that first shot, I'm going for that knockout. Uh, this fight with Azael for the middleweight title is gonna be a war. I'm super motivated to not lose to him, not just because he was a drunk, but uh, because I felt very disrespected a few times with things that he had said. In that scenario and in the game we're in, he gave me plenty of ammunition to come home and train my ass off. I'm gonna come in and show that Mexican warrior in me and slap the hot of John. He's not working harder than me in any way, shape, or form. The machine answers the call. He should be expecting something that he hasn't felt before. I'm 100% confident that I'm gonna knock John out. If I can put him away in the first off the rip, then that's what I'm going for.
Azael Rodriguez, the wild child of the slap house, told us he feels like he has his technique down now. Well, he was already 3-0, so I'm looking forward to seeing this technique. Said he used to take it easy on that first slap. Now I can let it go, he said, and he plans on letting it go tonight. Yeah, well, he's trying to become a professional boxer one day. That's why he's living down in Grenada with his girlfriend who's actually studying to become a veterinarian. Now, when you look at this man, yeah, on the show, you know, he was a bit of a party animal, but don't judge a book by its cover. This man has a bachelor's degree in psychology. He worked with kids with developmental disabilities. You know, so he's a smart guy. He just likes to let loose a little bit. Now, we're talking of letting loose. He's going to let loose on the face of his opponent because... He's been working hard to become a boxer. He likens the slap to kind of like a right hook. He said, I've got the perfect technique down and I am delivering it with more power than ever before. So I'm excited to see this one go down. He has the time to train. You mentioned the fact that he has that psychology degree working with children with developmental disabilities. He then became a substitute teacher. And when he had to move to Grenada, he said, you know what? I'm gonna train full time. And that's exactly what he's been doing while his wife is in veterinary school. He's been training full time in mixed martial arts and slap fight. John Machine right Davis coming in with a three and one record with one knockout. This guy might be one of the most interesting men in the world. His story is fascinating, Charlie. Let's go. John Machine Davis, right now, right now, let's go, right now. No. John Davis is very interesting in the fact that he didn't want anything to throw him off of his game. That includes, he didn't even want to know if he won the coin toss heading into this. And we all know how extremely important the coin toss really is. He just didn't want it messing with his mind and interrupting his, his inner dialogue, if you will. He's a former Marine, so he knows a thing or two about staying focused. And his motivation to bring home the middleweight title higher than ever, because guess what, guys? He just found out last week his wife is pregnant with their fourth child. How cool is that? That's right, three kids, one girl, two boys, one extra one on the way, so a great way to make some money. As we saw in that little feature there, this man's had a hard life. You know, he's a blue collar, hard working, working class guy. You know, he went through a very, very tough year recently. In the space of a year, he lost his mother, grandfather, mom, husband, and an auntie, I'd say the space of the year, but very emotional talking about that for obvious reasons. But he's looking to harness all of that frustration and that anger, take it out on the face of his opponent. And look at that stir, he's not even blinking. The intensity, you can feel it here in the Apex of Tale of the Tape, brought to you by 10X, 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life, go to CardoneVentures.com. You can see that John Davis is the taller man and has a one-inch reach advantage. A very slight favorite at minus 120. This is one of the two closest fights on the card, essentially a pick 'em. Aziel wins the coin toss. Going to be interesting. Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is five rounds. All for the power slap middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, striking out of the red corner, the blue corner, he stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 182 and one half pounds. Out of Calista St. George, Grenada, Azael El Pedro Rodriguez. And now, striking out of the red corner, he stands six feet tall, weighing in at 183 and one half pounds. Out of Salem, Ohio, John the Machine Davis. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Kerry Hadley. The winner of the coin toss and striking first is Azael Rodriguez.
Props to watch in this one. Will it end in the first round? Plus 165, yes. Minus 210, say no. So this is favored Our to gentleman center. go beyond the first round. Azael Rodriguez is going to get first hey, lick. Hand and count. Give us the power, baby. Right on three. Blue, right on three. Right on three. One Seven. KO for Azael One. thus far. Two. Oh, look at that. Shakes it off. Fair block. Yeah. Gives him the, what is it, hang loose? Hang loose. Hang loose. There you go. Look at you. You live in California too long, bro. I know the lingo. I'm very cool. I'm down with the kids. Whatever you want to call it. But John Davis told that like it was nothing. Azio Rodriguez, do better next time. Right Worked on, on those right hooks. Right on three. Didn't deliver what he said he was going to. Impact power, big time from John Davis. Ranks fifth in the house. One. All right. The welder. Two. The machine. He's up. Seven. He's up, but I don't think he's away. I don't know if he's with it. To me. He's going to walk to him. He's a little wobbly. Oh, no, oh, man. Oh. oh, they're going to give him another shot. That's it. That's it. Right, that's, it. that's it. One shot. One and go. Down. Not out. But out of this. Your middleweight champion, John. Machine Davis, his wife Chelsea, and three kids couldn't Let's be more go. elated than they are right now. You know, what he's a, a very mild mannered guy when you speak to John Davis. Nice guy, humble guy, but he's an animal on stage. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast. Here's a look. I mean, poor old Aziel. I shot, didn't know what was coming. A knockout shot, that's what was coming. Look at that, the eyes roll back, look at that right eye. Oh. Man. Look at him. Uh, look, at, look at the wind up. Oh my God, he headbutted the podium. Oh, I didn't see that. I did not see that either. That was behind the bells. That might have been the most brutal slap of the look night. There, Hits there it the is. Head. Oh, boom! Let's go. Wow. I mean, that's that's impressive power. Sheena, oh. one of the assistant coaches on Power Slap, just clean. He's a welder during the day. Works on crane trolleys. Grew up on an ostrich farm. That is correct. Ate ostrich eggs for breakfast. Well, all that protein paid off because... Speaking of eating, the official decision oh. brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Damn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Justin Bernard, the stage is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, after 24 seconds into round number one, referee Kerry Hatley calls a stop to the match for the winner by knockout and new power Let's slap go. middleweight Let's champion go. of the world. John the Machine Davis! Let's go, people! That's what I'm saying! Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Tonight's social media post brought to you by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer, no more skinny cans. And how about that? Michael Chandler, one of the coaches on the Ultimate Fighter. At some point, he's going to be fighting Conor McGregor. And John Davis, you're getting some love. On his way back. Here's Let's another, take another look. look. I mean, look at the head, though. When he takes the hit, look at this. Head busts the podium. Oh. Boom. Gives it a little kiss. And then he goes down. Oh, the poor guy. I mean, that just adds insult to injury. Oh, sickening power. But the machine speaks with Charlie. Over to you, Charlie. Davis, your new middleweight champion. This looks really nice on your shoulder. How good. special is this for you? It feels great. It's going to look even better up on my wall. Everyone back home right now, I'm sure, is freaking out more than I am. I can't even begin to explain how much this opportunity means to me. And uh, to help build, them, help build this with everybody that's involved is, is truly amazing. A, a true trailblazer. 
in the sport in power slap. Listen, you're one and done match. Did you see the knockout? Did you see how it all went down? It looked, it looked pretty good from my point of view. I don't know about everybody else, but I sure as hell uh, hope they enjoyed it, that's for sure. Well, your opponent, Azael, actually hit his head on the podium on his way down. That's how hard you hit him. It's a good thing there's a cushion there. <laughs> uh, you know, talk to me about really what this means for you just in the grand scheme of everything. You have worked so hard to get here. And, and not to mention, all week long, we kept bothering you, asking you if you wanted to know who won, won the coin toss, and you never wanted to know. And really, going second did not all affect you in this instance. No, I knew it wasn't going to uh, affect me in this in any way. Uh, I honestly expected to go a few more rounds before anything else like that happened. So I not only did I just shock the world like this entire sport has, I shocked everybody else along with myself. Yeah, I was going to say, you shocked yourself. This was not the game plan. No, no. I honestly expected uh, a, at least a couple of rounds of battle between us before either of us even, you know, sat down. So I can't even begin to explain again how excited I am that it went this way. Well, I know how important your family is to you, your wife, your kids. What do you think they're feeling right now, now that they see... You are the middleweight champion of the world. If I go home and my living room's not trashed, I'll be surprised and kind of upset. So the kids can go ham, have a late night, get McDonald's on dad. I don't give a crap. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Everybody who tuned in, I thank all of you. Everyone back home who's been uh, supporting me, thank all of you as well. I love you all very much. Thank you. You are incredible. And a huge congratulations. The first ever power slap middleweight champion, John Davis. Thank you very much. Guys, back to you. John Davis bringing the heat, making everybody in Salem, Ohio proud. What a performance by this young man tonight. I mean, there's recency bias, but is that the best knockout of the night? Because, I mean... It it's close. Double, it was a double whammy. It, it, it was a you double know, whammy, you're right. Poor Azael. Poor Azael eats the table. I mean... I, I do think we need to hear this one again because I don't believe we've heard it. Here we I go. Think so. Two. Oh my God. God bless. Davis just stares at him. Five. And bless Six. him. He is trying. He is a Seven. fighter. He got back to the feet. Eight. Walk to me. And look at Davis staring him down. Oh, please don't show them anymore. That was impressive. Just minutes away from our light heavyweight title match. This man is the owner of the greatest slap of all time. When Vern the Mechanic Kathy slaps, everybody in the building feels it. The 38-year-old man from Gypsum, Kansas, has yet to be tested with a pair of first-round KOs, but that is likely to change tonight. Kathy has never faced anyone like AJ Static Hints. The self-proclaimed headbanger has a granite chin and the strongest neck of anyone on the card by far. He's got the power to match. All three of his wins have been by knockout. These light heavyweight striker rankings brought to you by Happy Dad Seltzer. No more skinny cans. Here's a look at the light heavyweight ranks. Kathy on top, hints number two. Donovan Cross, who's coaching tonight, is three. You saw the power from Russell Rafferro. He's four and climbing. And then Devin Schwan is number five. The most fascinating thing about Vern Kathy is that he's never been hit. Two matches, two coin tosses, and two first round knockouts. Vernon won the toss again, so he's going first, but if he doesn't knock Hintz out, this could be very, very interesting when these two men step to the power slap table. Vernon Cathy delivered what Dana White called the greatest slap of all time against Amir Nuruddin, and now he wants to raise that bar even higher against knockout artist A.J. Hintz. So I think a lot of my confidence comes from, you know, like my background getting into fights. I've been fighting since ninth grade, grew up in a racist town, so, you know, I had to, I had to get tough real quick. So I guess you could say I have a little bit of a chip on my shoulder because everyone in town always told me I wasn't going to amount to nothing. I already know I'm tough and that I can take the shot. That's kind of why I wanted to see just how good I could do. 
To me, it's really about seeing who's the toughest. At first, you wouldn't really think that because you don't really take a slap that serious, but when you're up there and you're getting slapped, it's a whole different ball game. It's all about really who was born tough. We set the world on fire. Oh! We set the world on fire. I don't see anybody in my weight class really giving me too much of a problem. I think I could take over the sport. Oh! When I get out there, I'm looking you in your eyes. I'm just letting you know, like, I'm just here to put you down. AJ hits, ladies and gentlemen. We set the world on fire. I think one of the biggest questions that everybody's got about Vern is does he have a chin? One slap or three, either way, he's going down, and I'm getting that belt. I'm bringing it back home to Adams. I know I'm already in Vern's head. I saw it right after I knocked out Russell. He was the first one to congratulate me. But as I shook his hand, I looked into his eyes, and it was a look of, I have to fight this man next. He was scared. Well, I'm a, I'm a humble guy. I come from a small town. Uh, I grew up on a farm, and uh, I'm obviously a mechanic. So uh, I just enjoy helping people. and. Uh, you know, making their life better with uh, fixing their cars. Um, I, I believe I reflect the values of uh, being from a small town. Um, if you watch my last competition, uh, I didn't hoop and holler. I didn't run around. I didn't go crazy. You know, I came in. I was very humble, and I left humble. Vern is probably one of the hardest hitting guys in the competition. I'm the man of the I'm chasing a dream, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, I've always wanted to be at the top of the sport, and I've always been here, close, there, and now I have the ability to get on top. The fight is Vernon AJ. That is the fight of the finale. When, when it comes and I look him in the face, he's going to know that I'm there to win, and that's my goal. I want him to know when he sees me that I'm there to win. AJ's never been hit as hard as I'm going to hit him. He's going to feel a slap that he's never had. He's been against some great competitors, but no one with my power. And when he looks me in the eyes when we start that match, he's going to understand. If AJ's not concerned with me, that's the biggest mistake he can do. I'm going to humble him real quick when he understands how hard I can hit. These fighter walkouts brought to you by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get popped with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Here is AJ Static Hits, three and one with three knockouts. And what stands out the most about him, Charlie, is the neck strength, the most powerful neck in the house. Yeah, there's a lot of things that stand out about AJ Hints, but let's talk about his neck strength because it really is next level. And it's a strength that he attributes to his many nights spent head banging in heavy metal mosh pits. And he also says he gets his balance from skateboarding the streets of a small town in Wisconsin like we just saw in that video leading up to this. And AJ says he realizes Vern Cathy isn't gonna be a walk in the park by any means, but Hint says he has them all figured out and he plans to quote, eat Vern's slap, smile, and blow him a kiss. Well, he's got no choice. He's gonna have to eat it because he lost the coin toss. Now let's just speak about the neck strength and the relevance of that. The stronger the neck, probably the better the ability. Well, it certainly helps to take a shot because the head doesn't move quite as much. Now, as we know, he's got the biggest. We know that Vernon hits the hardest. So, Dan, will he be the first ever person not to go to sleep? We will find out tonight's social media post brought to you by Happy Dad, a hard seltzer, no more skinny cans. He said his goal is to win and ride that electric skateboard down the strip with the championship belt on. I can see him doing that if that were to come to fruition, but he will have to do it from the underdog status, a plus 200 dog. Kathy coming in as the minus 260 favorite, and Kathy will once again be slapping first.
Vernon the Mechanic Kathy. 2-0. Two, oh, two first-round KOs. He's never been touched. And he has that, that country strength. He's a humble guy, but he's a serious man. Let me tell you now, of course, we've spoke about the power, but that's because of all the work that he did competing in the Highland Games. He did that for eight years. Basically, that's a strongman competition where they throw certain objects around and compete against one another. He did that for eight years. Look at the build on him. Look at the experience in the Highland Games. That is why he's putting people to sleep. But can he take a shot? Odds on, yes, he can. We know we can certainly deliver one. As you said, a very hard-working, humble guy, doesn't talk shit, none of that business. He's here to do business, he's here to win these fights, put people to sleep, and provide for his family. But he's fighting up here tonight. Indeed he is. You mentioned the Highland Games. That's like a decathlon for strongmen. Did that for eight years straight, and did very well. The Tale of the Tape brought to you by 10X, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income. 10X your life, go to CardoneVentures.com. Vern Cathy is 10 years older, three inches taller, and the reach identical at 72 inches. He is coming into this one as the favorite for good reason. 2-0, two, oh, two first round KOs. We send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for five rounds, all for the Power Slap Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, striking out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 264 and one half pounds. Out of Adams, Wisconsin, AJ Stanton. And now, striking out of the red corner, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, out of Gypsum, Kansas, Vernon, the mechanic, Kathy! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. The winner of the coin toss and striking first, Vernon, Kathy. All right. We are uh, anxiously awaiting this one with bated breath. All Vernon has done is knock okay, people out. AJ's off. been never, has never been knocked out. Look at that neck strength, strongest in the house right by far. On three. By and that's the storyline here. here. Will oh, AJ be right the first on three. and only on man three. to take one of the right shots from three. Vernon Cathay and stay conscious? You ready? One. Two. Oh, oh my God! Look at that, He's getting up. He's up. Four, He's wobbled. Five. Will he be the first? Six. He's still wobbled. Seven, He's trying hard. Eight, He's trying to compose himself. He's himself. He's good. Fighter's good. He's good. Wow. Recovered. Right here. Right now, here. here's the thing. thing. Vernon yeah, Cathy's never wanna, been hit, so time, this is going to be a first. Seconds. If you give it, you, you have to take it. Go for a well, Vernon yeah, Cathy. You got time? It's right there. Into the box, please, Let's take sir. a look at this. Right here. Oof. Clean. Are you ready? And just like he told us, dragging the what fingers hand, along the count? face, right too. Right Almost right ripping the ears two. off. You have 18 All right, seconds. this is a first. Right We've never two. seen this before. Feet in the box. Feet in the box. Right on two. Nobody's ever survived a Cathy slap. Right on two. One. Oh, oh, no! He's down! He's slapped his sleep! Oh, I don't think he's getting oh, it. Oh, no! It's over! It's over. It's over. AJ it's over. hits with the upset! Oh my god! The first to take the shot, the first to land the shot, the first person to beat Vernon Cathay! He did the impossible! He fucking did it! AJ hits. The entire building is on their feet. Nobody saw that coming. He survived the Kathy slap and came back to deliver a knockout of his own. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the Beast. 
unleash the beast is right because that is the way AJ Hints hits. Look at that. Look at that. Slept him straight away. You can see from the posture of Vernon Cathy, the way he was falling down to the canvas, head down. Vernon Cathy looks like he was on. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to get back to his feet. Look at this. Falls over again. I mean, the wrist bending back. Was there was there. no chance he was getting up after that. Ugh. You want to listen to it? Let's listen to it, Bishop. Yeah, let's listen. Right on two. One. Sickening. I mean, that was. You, you know what else is interesting? I don't know if you remember Vernon telling us that he put all his weight on the lead side. His foot was picked up. Yeah, I don't know if that's interesting. I'm just still shocked. <laughs> I am too. Look at the fan reaction here. Look at that. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, wow. The boss man's reaction. Breaking Dana. I mean, I like Vernon Cathy. I do too. He's a but very likable good, guy. He is a very likable guy. But we didn't guy. know what we were getting because he'd never been slapped before. All right, the time for the strength. official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Justin Bernard, our power slap announcer, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 seconds into round number one, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match for the winner by knockout and new power slap light heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Static Hints. I didn't even use a fist. And you know, listen, this man is a character. I saw him yesterday. I went over to his hotel room, knocked on his door, had a few words. He was very calm. He was having a good time. I'll bet he was. He had some friends in the room. He was like <laughs> smooth sailing, like another day in the office. Let me tell you something about AJ Hits. He hasn't trained as much as some of these other guys have, and he said he's waiting because he like wants to it. prove. Yeah that he can do it just kind of on his own without really training, and then he's gonna train down the road and be unbeatable. That's what he said, which I thought was crazy, but look at the swagger, you know, walking around, smiling. I mean, he just took a shot from the hardest hitting guy. The only man to do that, he's got a smile on his face, he hasn't got a mark on his face, and he's got the belt around his waist. Let me tell you something about AJ Hintz as well. He's a custodian at a cardboard factory, winning this, the money, yep. the belt, all of this stuff really is gonna resonate with him. It's gonna resonate with the town of Adams, Wisconsin. Could not be happier for AJ Hintz. Well, he's a character. He really is, and that character gets to speak to Charlie right now. Wow, AJ Hintz, you are a monster. You had this whole place on their feet. Mm -hmm. You gave Vern his very first slap, and you absolutely rocked him. How are you Man, feeling? I feel fucking great. I mean, like, not, not to be that guy, but I knew it was going to happen. Did you now? Respectfully, I knew that was going to happen. OK, but also, we got to give some credit to your neck strength. I mean, that has mm -hmm. been your strongest characteristic throughout this entire competition. Yep. Uh, but you ate a shot that no one else in this competition has ever been able to recover from. How did you recover so quickly? And you can see it here on the screen in a replay. I'm just built different. You have been soccer kicked in the face with steel toe boots? I have not. I have. I got up and beat his ass. OK, so obviously you are capable of doing things no one else in this competition is able to. Where do you go from here? What else can you achieve? Other divisions, I'm taking all the votes. They're lucky I can't get down any, any, any lower than like 180. Take us through your finish in this one. Um, how so? Take a look. Oh. oh, beautiful. What was going through your mind there? Just land clean, you know what I mean? Because like I, we already had this talk. I knew I was going to knock him out in one slap. The only thing, only thing I'm ever worried about is fouling and that one slap knockout, not counting. So now that you've had a couple minutes to soak it all in, what's it mean for you to be Power Slap's first ever light heavyweight champion? Oh, it means everything. Like, the belt looks good on me for one. It looks my, great on you. It's my color. My name's Static. It's blue. It's, you know, so it, it fits. It fits. It's good. My kids are going to love this. W will there be a big mosh pit after this? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Always. Congratulations, AJ. Thank you. Guys, back to you. 
AJ Hintz getting it done. Remember, he promised that he's going to take that electric skateboard, put the belt around his waist, and ride it up and down the strip here in Las Vegas Nobody tomorrow. Hope he waits till tomorrow. I don't want to see him do it tonight. I kind of want to see him do it tonight. I'll bet you do. Of course you do. Yeah, you on. might be doing it with him. <laughs> the big boys are on deck. I don't think it's hyperbole to call Darius the Destroyer one of the baddest, if not the baddest slapper on the planet. Never lost. His record is perfect, 17-0, and 0, but he has been tested. And for the fourth time in four years, he will have to weather the storm of Wolverine. Ron Beta took Darius to the brink, an epic 27-round match that tested the metal of both men. Now he's back, but it's different this time. Wolverine is bigger, he's stronger, and he's ready to prove that once and for all, the heavyweight title belongs to him. What a night. It has exceeded all realistic expectations. And guess what, Bisping? It's not over yet. History continues to be made at the Apex. And now it's time for our main event presented by Rumble. It's the Power Slap Heavyweight Championship matchup between two of the sport's greatest rivals, Darius the Destroyer and Wolverine. The Power Slap table set to rise for the final time tonight, as expected. After three straight wins, Darius the Destroyer, the healthy favorite, minus 360. Don't know if the odds makers have seen the 20 pounds of muscle that Wolverine is packed on, though. Power Slap coaches, Darius the Destroyer and Ron Wolverine Beta have waited patiently as their fighters went through the paces, but now it is their turn. A rematch for the heavyweight title. It's really unbelievable how far all of this has come. You know, I believe that I'm one of the pioneers of the sport. If there ever was a Mount Rushmore, I'd be one of those faces. You know, just thinking about that belt, the very first world heavyweight champion of power side just means everything to me. I know nothing's gonna stop me into getting that belt. What I enjoy about the sport is uh, the competitiveness. The will of somebody to get hit and then come back. Hey, oh, come on, stay up, stay up. The will to keep going, just, you know, keep pushing for what you want. And I really want that belt. So for the coaches, we brought in the two best guys in the world for the first ever heavyweight slap championship. Darius the Destroyer is a heavyweight champion from Missouri, and this dude has never lost a fight, and he's only 22 years old. He's an absolute beast. He's got unbelievable, brutal knockout power. Ooh, that was crisp. I call it reaching into the depths of hell. I bring it down low, grab the fiery pits of hell, smack it across that person's face. My style is torturous for my opponents. Every fight I go out there to try to finish my opponent, I don't ever try to leave anything up to the judge's decision. I am very prepared to be facing the best Wolverine you've ever seen. So the Wolverine's name is Ron, and he's a former MMA fighter turned slap fighter. This guy's got incredible power and toughness. He's only 31 years old, and he's got a record of 11 and 3, and his only losses yeah. have been to the Destroyer. Their most recent fight was an epic 27-rounder, and it's considered by most people the greatest slap fight ever in history. The doctor, due to safety, you know, he just he had to call it, and uh, I didn't like that I lost, but I got no quit. I ain't been backed up or put down yet. Me and Darius both know that we got five rounds to leave it all out there. That's what we're going to do. This rivalry is the greatest in slapping history. We're the two legends in, the, in this game. We're both not going to quit. I mean, we're both going to look for the knockout. 
he's gonna get the best version of myself there's ever been. And I expect the same from him. Anybody that likes slap fighting is gonna, gonna enjoy every second of it. God's Clyde. Wolverine Beta. Sounds a little bit like Mountain Home, Arkansas, where he is from, delivers lumber for a living, has those hands all nice and hard. He only has three losses in his entire slapping career. All of those have been to Darius the Destroyer. Yeah, that's right. He is truly the nemesis of the Wolverine Darius the Destroyer. As you said, started doing this in 2019, so four years experience. 11 and 3, all losses to Darius, but this time it could be different because he's bumped up, he's got heavier, he's put on 25 pounds of muscle and just girth, you know, and that extra weight is definitely going to add to the power. And he thinks he's going to shock Darius, he thinks Darius knows he can take my shots, but that's the old me, the new me is hitting way harder. Prior to this, he was a mixed martial artist. 30 fights on his record, 15 and 15. Lots of combat experience, truly loves this. Three kids at home and rocking those cowboy boots. Look at that. So Glad those Dan. this is a staple for him. He's worn that in all his previous fights. I didn't know if he was gonna be allowed to do it in power slap, but they're letting him make his mark with the boots. I'd say it's a lot better than wearing those shoes. I can tell you that much. Darius the Destroyer, just 23 years old out of Kirbyville, Missouri, population 200, and all he does is wreck shop. 17 and 0, he's never lost in four years of slap fighting. Slap fighter by night, landscaper by day, and this man was truly built for this. He said, listen, I have been struck, slapped over 150 times, and I've never, ever stumbled. He said, I've got the best chin in the game. He started doing this three years ago when he was 19 years old. One of the local bars, they were having a slap contest, but he's not 21. So he sneaked in, got a fake ID, won the competition, went on with $2,000 and got a free tattoo. That was his entry into this sport, and that is where he realized that he had a real talent for this. And listen, he must be the best in the world, not only at slap, MMA, BJJ, really does have lofty goals, sets his sights and his targets high, but he's got a very, very tough opponent tonight. When I asked him about Wolverine, he said he's tough, it's all been close, and he's doing the no-shoe thing as well. I don't like the Mistake. no shoes. Mistake. Not a good idea. I mean, I don't know, I'd rather have no shoes on than those boots. They're not my cup of tea. But, you know, the so, so neither one of your cup of tea. You don't like the shit kickers or no shoes for this. The shit kickers, I'd wear those shit kickers if it means I win the fight because you slip on the canvas. Uh, interesting. Well, two opposite ends of the spectrum as Wolverine and Darius the Destroyer set to face off for a fourth time in four years. The tail of the tape brought to you by 10x, 10x your business, 10x your income, 10x your life. Go to Cardone Ventures. Dot com.
Nine years older is Wolverine. They're both 6'1", and it is a three-inch reach advantage. Wolverine told us he's never been knocked down or backed up, and that includes those three fights with Darius the Destroyer. That's how close it's been. Let's send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Anthony A. Marnell III and Executive Director Jeff Mullen. Our judges stage side are Mike Bell, Sal Diamato, and Junichiro Camijo. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now about to witness the main event of the evening. To the sold-out Apex Arena and those watching around the world, brace yourselves for impact. The power is on. Introducing first, striking out of the blue corner. He stands six feet, one inches tall, weighing in at 224 and one half pounds. Out of Mountain Home, Arkansas, Ron, the Wolverine Beta. And now, striking out of the red corner, he stands six feet, one inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Out of Branson, Missouri, Darius the Destroyer, Matavarola! Your winner of the coin toss and striking first is Darius the Destroyer, Matavarola. Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. All right, gentlemen, to the center. Mark Smith taking charge. Again, he worked the UFC event tonight yeah, as well. Stands. Look at the difference here. We got cowboy right, boots and no shoes. Darius the Destroyer's right, never Darius, lost a perfect 17 and 0. Right, Wolverine's hand, never lost three. to anybody besides Measure. Darius. Yeah, they have a lot of history together. I'm not expecting One. a first round knockout, but you never know. Two. Three. Oh. Well, I, will, I will tell you this, Wolverine said he's never been backed up. He got backed up a little bit there. To talk to your coach, backed recover. up a little scooch. Recover. All right, but now this will be interesting. Right hand on three. Measure. That's a quick recover. He has a waist the wind up, And he's two. heavier. Come to me. Come to me. That's it. Wolverine takes it. Wolverine takes it. No way. His first win in four tries. 20 pounds was the difference in the biggest fight of his life. 25 pounds heavier, wearing the shit kickers, representing the people of Arkansas. One and done. Gets revenge. Sits down. Darius the destroyer. And look at the emotion. The heavyweight title going back to Mountain Home, Arkansas. Wow. I mean, he's 0-3. Well, he was until tonight. Incredible. Is... We talked over and over about how much bigger and stronger he was, and it proved to be the difference. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the Beast. I mean, that's shocking. In over 150 slaps, Darius has never been wobbled, never dropped, never hurt, never phased. One shot tonight from the Wolverine, and that was it. And there's Darius walking out now, very upset, very frustrated, shaking his head, pissed off. Massive opportunity, beating him three times, but on the biggest stage, didn't get the job done. And the first heavyweight champion in power slap history I'm not going to say that I didn't expect Wolverine to win. I just didn't expect it to end in the first round because these have all been yep. wars. Just goes to show that extra 25 pounds, the extra weight converts to power. That makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. And for the first time, Wolverine 
weighed in at 224 pounds, the heaviest he's ever been. And look at that smile, that's not leaving his face. And the shoes, the boots, it gives you more traction. Well, it gives you more traction than no feet. Darius has already left. Not it is time for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks. Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get popped with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. And this is presented by Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, after 21 seconds in a round number one, referee Mark Smith calls a stop to the match for the winner by TKO and new power slap heavyweight champion of the world, Ron the Wolverine Beta. And the Wolverine wearing his boots and all, the heavyweight strap around his belt, makes history here in Las Vegas, beating the best slap fighter in the world for the first time in four tries. All four of our championship fights ended in the first round, and perhaps none more surprising than this. Charlie Arnold with our new heavyweight champ, Ron Beta. Wow. Ron, the Wolverine. Revenge is sure sweet, isn't it? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, it, uh, it was great to go out there against Darius again. And I mean, yeah, it was, it was awesome. I mean, but if you look at what you were able to accomplish, not only are you Power Slap's first ever heavyweight champion, you also just beat the best slap fighter in the world, knocking him down for the very first time in his career. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hell, I've been trying to do it for years. So, I mean, to finally actually do it one time is, uh, is an incredible feat, and I'm sure I'll have to see him again. So, well, when we look at your past experiences with him, there was one time you went 27 rounds. How were you able to accomplish this win in just one this time? Uh, I, I honestly don't know, honestly. I mean, he's, he's a tough competitor. I mean, luck at a draw. I mean, I just got lucky, I guess. Well, we also, do you think some of it can be attributed to the extra weight you put on? Does that equal extra power? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming so. I mean, I did put a little extra weight on this fight, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to take nothing away from Darius. He's a, he's a tough guy. Well, absolutely not, but we got to give you your props. You're the first ever heavyweight champion in power slop. What does that mean for you? Uh, it means I get to wait for the next guy and defend it again, so. Who might that be? Who would you like to face next? Well, apparently, uh, after tonight, it looks like the oh, bell. Oh, oh, so. oh, exactly. Sorry about that. Uh, he actually, he wanted to face Darius. Are you uh, ready to give him a little run for his money? Uh, yeah, he was my assistant coach on the show. So, I mean, you know, it's going to be a fun time. Makes it all the more interesting. Well, congratulations to you. We're so excited. What a feat. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Guys, back to you. All right, Charlie, thank you very much. My goodness. And I, I didn't even think about the fact that he has to fight Damien DeBell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. I, I, did, I, didn't ex I did not expect that. A first round finish? Nobody expected look, that. Look at Jimmy. Jimmy's on his feet. Everybody's on their feet. He I'm can't. frozen in time like Elsa. Too My loud for God. Jimmy. He had to cover his ears. He's so <laughs> soft, Jimmy. Poor old Jimmy. Wow, what a night, yeah. man. Incredible night. I mean, listen, let's be honest. If you'd like to see knockouts, it doesn't get any better than this, right? I mean, the action tonight, the atmosphere, it was electric from start to finish, and it finished in absolute style with a shocking upset for the heavyweight belt. We had nine knockouts in 12 fights. Every fight on the main card, every championship fight, a first round finish. First round, and you know what? It just goes to show because you know, if you, it, normally if you win the coin toss, you go first. Yeah, you win. But tonight, the Wolverine, he didn't win the coin toss. He ate the best shot from Darius. And he's done that in the past 127 times. And on this occasion, one shot is all he needed to take him out. I mean, incredible. Yeah, that was uh, one of the more shocking moments of the night. We saw some serious power. Don't forget the fact that Vernon Cathy, who was a perfect uh, 2 and 0 oh, got taken down after yeah. taking his first shot.
from AJ Hintz? I didn't expect that. I don't think anybody expected that. Vernon, uh, as we know, AJ got the strongest neck. Definitely helped take the shot. But so far, we haven't seen Kathy take a shot. Well, as we know now, it doesn't matter because he got slept with one. AJ Hintz, the champ, he's going to celebrate tonight in style. He's a bit of a machine, a bit of a party animal, a bit of a wild <laughs> man, but that's why we love him. Dana White going to be with Charlie here in just a few moments, the founder of the Power Slap League, the reason that we are all here, and what a night it was. So good that I think we need to do a little real-time rewind and take another look at all nine of the knockouts tonight. Robert Trujillo got things started. Oh, look at that. I mean, come on. What a way to start a night. Dead body. Andrew Provost with an injured Two. hand. Oh, but it didn't matter. It did not start stopping, slapping the living shit out of his opponent, Reese Archer. Whoa. Six, seven, two, oh, the big fella taking care of business, Dorian Perez. This was our first heavyweight fight of the night. You could see the power. Russell oh. Rivero told us he was going to do this. Oh, oh my God. Jeez Louise. Sickening. What a shot. Third round TKO. Isaiah Quinones tried desperately to get up, just couldn't make it. And how about the power from Damian DeBell, our number one heavyweight contender? Took him two shots, but in round two delivered that knockout blow. Our biggest favorite on the card, KO Chris Thomas against Jesus Gaspar Diaz, his good buddy. Three, That's what Chris four, Thomas does. Five, six, seven. He's out. Stay five. down. And here Three. is the machine, our first middleweight champ. Sitting down, El Perro, Azael Rodriguez, who hit his head on the table going down as well. Six, seven, eight, one, two. AJ Hintz making history. The only man to survive a Vernon Cathy slap and then delivers the knockout blow of his own. Will he be riding that electric skateboard down the strip? And the main event, we have a heavyweight champion Wolverine looks like he almost stunned himself for the first time in four tries. Knocks out the most talented, the most vicious slap fighter on the planet and Darius the Destroyer. But did you see the reaction from Wolverine just standing there, motionless like a statue, just staring him down? That's a bad man. Country strong. He is making those in Mountain Home, Arkansas, proud, delivers lumber during the day. And he said, I said, how often do you work out? He goes, I work out every day. Yeah. I put the lumber and doors and windows on the truck, and then I unload them. And I said, what's it been like for you being on the reality show, being on Power Slap Road of the Town? He goes, a few of my customers recognize me every now and then. Uh, yeah, that's kind of well, cool. Well, that's going to happen a lot more now. A star is born, the new heavyweight champ, main event, the first ever Power Slap. I mean, what an event this was. Four championship belts handed out on this night. Our first four champions, a welterweight champ, a middleweight champ, light heavyweight and heavyweight champ as well. It is remarkable. KO Chris, biggest favorite on the card. John Davis, unbelievable story. AJ Hintz doing what perhaps only he thought he could by taking out Vernon Cathy, and then Wolverine, the new heavyweight champion. Yeah, I mean, listen, Wolverine showed that extra weight here tonight. That, that adds to the power, you know? They, let's remember, they have gone 27 rounds before. 27 rounds, tonight all it took was one shot from the Wolverine. I mean, incredible stuff, it really was. What a night. What a night, Wolverine with a huge upset. I mean, upset galore uh, in terms of that fight because it was a minus 360 number on Darius the Destroyer's head. Wolverine walking in there in his cowboy boots. Darius, who had never even been backed up before, no. knocked down and knocked out for the first time in his life. 150 slaps he has taken. And he said, never, never even stumbled, wobbled, reacted even. But tonight he got put down, tried to get back up, God bless him.
Tried his best two or three times, and in the end, the referee was like, nah, that's it. That's enough. I mean, yeah, that was the right decision. We, we don't know exactly when the next event is going to be, but I can tell you this. There is going to be a next event, and it's not that far down the road. And the main event is going to be unbelievable. Wolverine, who was one of the coaches on Power Slap Road to the title, going to be going against his assistant coach, Damian DeBell, who has massive massive power massive power 21 years old so he's just a kid but tonight the second round that slap that he delivered i mean i mean you want to talk about power you want to talk about a sickening in third and the way his opponent hit the ground Dwayne, the iron giant crespo i mean he's a big man yeah he can he take is. a shot but he couldn't take that not tonight no way well i'll i'll tell you that our first fight on the main card ko chris oh, against I jesus gaspar diaz KO Chris Thomas was the biggest favorite on the card. Obviously, it was for very good reason, but he looks like somebody that might be unbeatable in the in the near future in the welterweight division. Yeah, I agree. There's just something about it. Number one, he knows how to work a crowd up. When he walked out here tonight, he was he was revving the crowd up, roaring, screaming, losing his goddamn mind. There's people on the stage, by the way. They're losing their mind. They're doing backflips and all sorts. There's people getting slapped over there. The crowd are loving this. But yeah, KO Chris Thomas, a star in the making. This man can slap anyone's head off. He can take a shot. He's got a good reason. He's got five kids as well. So I love watching this guy work. Next up going to be uh, Waylon Ice Cold Frost, who got the win against Slap Jesus tonight. Now, KO Chris and Waylon... Uh, have fought before. Wayla took a couple of slaps, so that's going to be uh, the next championship fight in the very near future. So KO Chris, I'm sure after he gets done celebrating tonight, going to get ready for Wayland Frost. All right, let's send it over to Charlie Arnold with the man who is responsible for all of this tonight. Uh, responsible for an epic night, to say the least. Dana, the reaction in person, phenomenal. I already looked on socials, phenomenal. Safe to say it was a huge success. It was amazing. And obviously, you couldn't script tonight better than it went. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. What were some of the reactions that you saw out there? What was everybody buzzing about? Yeah, I mean, everybody is uh, talking about how good the live event is, how, what it's like to be here live. And, and, uh, and we're just getting started. You know, there's a lot of things that we need to tweak, a lot of things that, that we can do better. This was our first live event with Power Slap. So I'm a bit of a psycho when it comes to, uh, you know, dialing in the television and the live event. It'll just get better and better. I feel like all geniuses are a little bit psycho. <laughs> well, I appreciate um, but that. But when I'm... you look at the level of competition, nine knockouts in 12 fights, what does that say about the level of competitors? Yeah, no, we uh, we did a great job with season one and finding incredible talent and uh, great personalities. Season two, I'm working on season two right now, and uh, it's going to be in Abu Dhabi, and I'm going to bring in some of the best guys in the world from Russia, Poland, you know, Eastern Europe, uh, South Africa, and the list goes on and on. And by the end of season two, we'll have found out who the best fighters, you know, in the world are, and we'll face them off against season one. I mean, it's probably tough to make any estimates now, but judging by the level of competition you have in the building at the current moment, it's hard to even imagine getting a new crop that is even better. Well, this has been going on in Russia and Poland for a long time, so... I guarantee you there's there's some studs out there that nobody knows about. Um, and because of season one, not just here in the United States, but, but globally, and, and how many people it reached, how many people watched, there's kids actually, you know, when we did a, the, the practice event on Thursday night, the kids that we brought in said they watched this season and started training and started learning how to do it. So we're, we're just getting started. This is gonna be a fun, uh, business to build over the next couple of years. Yeah, it's already been a lot of fun. And one of the best parts about it was over the course of the show, we got to see the two coaches really build their names up. We learned the background between them. And then tonight we saw the fourth time in their careers that they faced off in the Wolverine getting some very sweet redemption. Yeah, it, it was incredible for those that don't know. I mean, he lost to him uh, three times, I think. And, and tonight he, he took him out with one slap. So like I said, you couldn't script that any any better, but I have to think bo thank both of them too. Both the coaches did an amazing job this season in really uh, elevating the talent here and, 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 and helping us lay the groundwork and, and uh, the rules. And like I said, this is all still a, a work in progress, but they were a big part of this thing and re we really appreciate them. And what can you possibly say about AJ Hintz? I mean, 
Not only did he eat one of Vern's shots, the only person in the competition to successfully do that, but then he was able to get right back up and deliver a knockout blow. Yeah, I don't know if he got right back up, but he got right down to the wire where he was okay. And again, the Nevada State Athletic Commission who trained, you know, worked hard, studied this to, to, to make sure that this thing went off the right way and it was fair. And that ref did an amazing job in, in, in that fight with uh, AJ and Vern and everybody did tonight. But uh, yeah, some, some stars emerged tonight, like AJ, obviously Chris Thomas, who's a powerhouse and, uh, and the Wolverine who won tonight. Do you think anyone can beat Chris Thomas? I don't know. I mean, everybody, everybody can beat, it can be beat, it's just uh, who is, is the question, you know? Uh, Chris is is a monster. Well, a lot of buzz right now. So any parting thoughts for us? Holy shit, it was a great night. And uh, I'm really, you know, I've, I've put a lot of hard work and time and effort into this thing over the last two months. And uh, to, to, to see it pay off like it did tonight is, uh, is awesome. Yeah, certainly has paid off. Dana, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, back to you. Always nice hearing from the boss. What a fun night here. Power slap one in Las Vegas. And Michael, we learned that uh, we're going to Abu Dhabi for uh, <laughs> season two. And we're going to chase down the best slap fighters outside of the United States. And then they're going to face off against the season one guys. That's going to be amazing. It's going to get bigger and better and better and more powerful, better knockouts. We're going to get better at our job. We're going to learn more about the fighters. They're going to get a fan following. This thing's going to explode. It's going to explode like Burn Kathy's face. <laughs> Something we have never seen before. So many great storylines in season one. Power Slap here to stay. Power Slap one going to be Power Slap two in Abu Dhabi. And four championship belts handed out for the first time. We have a welterweight champion, a middleweight champion, light heavyweight and heavyweight. History being made. KO Chris Thomas was devastating. And once people learn their stories, why they're doing this, where they come from, their backgrounds, people are going to really start following them for other reasons, not just because of the knockouts that they can deliver, because they're a fan of them as people. And I can't wait for that to happen to all of our champions, our contenders, and all the people that were brave enough to step on that stage tonight. The first ever live power slap event and we have crowned four new champions for our power slap announcer justin bernard for our producer zach candido for the ufc hall of famer michael bisping i'm dan helly and thank you very much to charlie arnold as well and thank you for watching